Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to show you guys exactly how you can go through the ball player glitch and get over a dozen archetypes done with your pitcher. It's going to be the fastest way that you can get those dozen done. So you guys do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and followed over on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. Uh, that way you guys can make sure you're entered for a chance to win the Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph baseball that will be doing on the giveaway on July 4th, Subscriber Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, all right? I do Subscriber Sundays every Sunday, so you guys make sure to check me out uh, anytime here on YouTube. We'll be doing the stream here on YouTube, uh, so live this Sunday as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right to it. But first, you guys, make sure to check out a new sponsor here on the channel, ahmlb.com, where you guys can get MLB The Show 21 stubs at discounted prices, the cheapest stubs in town. Use code BIG for 5% off. All right, you guys, so here we are. We're going to go through the pitcher ball player glitch for you guys. It's very quick. It's very easy. I'm going to start a brand new road to the show just to show you guys exactly how it works. If you guys aren't aware, let me move the camera up out of the way here a little bit. We're going to move it over here to the side just to move it out of the way here. But uh, we're going to go into this first part right here, road to the show. I'm going to start a new one. If you're not sure how to start a new one, you press square or the, uh, I believe it's the X button there on Xbox. You're going to go to start new. All right, and then we'll set up your ball player as soon as you do. You just want to make sure you've got a particular archetype loaded for it. We're going to go with this archetype right here. All right, we're going to activate this one because what we're going to be earning is this XP along this archetype program path. You're not getting it from each individual game. You're only getting it from here, okay? And at all of these stub marker points, you're going to get several thousand XP. And when you start on bronze, you'll get a lot. And then when you get to silver, you'll get more. And then when you get to gold, you'll get more. And then by the time you're at diamond, you're getting 11,000 uh, XP points. Uh, for just for each one of these right here. So on the diamonds alone, you're going to earn 245,000 stubs or 245,000 XP uh, just from completing the six pitcher diamond archetypes. All right. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you've got one of these pitcher archetypes on here. And we'll make another video going over all of the pitcher archetypes here, here uh, coming up probably tomorrow. Uh, but this one right here, there's three of them that you can start with. You can start with filthy painter or cheese. Now pay attention to them. Cheese is going to be your relief pitcher. Uh, you can see right in the center of the screen, uh, right under uh, cheese, it says preferred pos position is relief pitcher. The filthy one is also going to be a relief pitcher and painter is going to be your starting pitcher. So if you're, if you're wanting to move them over to diamond dynasty, pay attention to those because that's where they're going to have to be. All right. So I've already got a silver one selected because I've done all of those bronze ones because I wanted to show you guys exactly how this works. So now we're good. We're going to back out of here. We're going to go actually into load save rosters. If you guys don't know, I've got another video showing you guys which roster to go download, but we're going to go download. We're going to, we've already got it downloaded. So we're just going to use it right here. <coughs> Excuse me. You can go into the vault and get any of these road to the show. All zeros choose Rockies rosters. All right. And it's pretty self-explanatory. All zero attributes for all of the players you're playing against. And you want to choose to be on the Rockies. So I'll show you how you can do that here in just a second. All right. So as you start, it goes, have you been talking to any particular team? Uh, and you're going to select, there is one team I've heard from more than a couple of times. And then he's going to say, let me guess the pirates. You're going to say no, but it is a, a national league club. There we go. The Dodgers. No, no, but it is one of their NL West rivals. The Rockies. Yes. That's the one I want to play for. So we're going to get played. Uh, we're going to get set up to play in Colorado. All right. So then it's going to go through the draft. It's going to do this phone call and everything. We're going to skip through all that. And you're going to get drafted to the Rockies and we'll pick you up there in just a sec. All right, you guys, so here we are. We got drafted by the Rockies, obviously. You always get drafted by who you select, so it's fine. All right, so we're going to do a pitching only in this one. This one, at, when you start it, though, they're going to make you do two-way play. Uh, so we're just going to select, you mean position two-way? It doesn't matter. They're going to force you to do it. So you're going to have to do it at the beginning. And then you're going to get an option here after a couple games. Uh, uh, so then you wouldn't have to do it. So I guess we'll just we'll just select first base for the infield. It's fine. Uh, and it doesn't matter where you select, really. And then we'll continue on. Now we're going to get to this next game. It's going to be the first game. It's going to bring you back to the clubhouse right here. All right. And remember what I said, it's going to actually give you all of those archetype points while, or all those, uh, those, uh, uh, mission points while you're doing that archetype. And what I mean by that is while you're going through this, let's see, we got to make sure we have the right one activated. We didn't have the right one activated. That's a problem. Sometimes you got to make sure you got the right one activated. There we go. We got it. Cheesy painter. I'm at 0% on this one. All right. So you're going to have these missions to do innings pitched and strikeouts. That's all it is. And now you're going to see how many we're going to get per game. Now, some of these are repeatable and this is great. Uh, these repeatable ones, because you're going to get several strikeouts 
per game. Now, these big thousand run games that you might get sometimes with the glitch aren't going to benefit you as a pitcher, obviously, uh, but it's still going to move very quickly. So I'm going to show you guys, we're going to go through this just a few times and show you exactly how it works and exactly what to look for to make sure it's working properly for you. So we go into play, we'll go into play next. It's going to simulate through all of these uh, blank blank days on the schedule and blank dates on the schedule. It'll get us here to the first game. We're going to play game, but it puts us at first base. So we're just going to simulate through this one and we're going to get you guys to the pitcher. All right, you guys. So after I played a full series and it made me play first base for all of them, that's going to happen to you from time to time when you're trying to be a pitcher as well. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, we went ahead and actually had to play a fourth game and it still made me uh, play first base. So that's okay. But now we got the starting pitcher. So now we're going to go down here to starting pitcher glitch. That's what I've named this one. Uh, we'll go into it and hit advance. And here's what you do. You wait till the game loads up right here. And as soon as it does, you go over to exit on the upper right corner. You hit simulate and exit. And then you're going to go ahead and simulate quickly through it. If you want to go th quickly through it, you can push either the B button on Xbox or the O button here. Uh, we won 17 to nothing. The score doesn't really matter. Uh, we pitched six innings and got 11 strikeouts in that one. All right. Uh, so now since we're doing the pitcher one right here, uh, we're not going to go to next game on this. We're going to actually go back to the clubhouse because it's actually going to make me uh, go ahead and do. And actually, we are going to go to we are going to go to play next game. You can go to play next game. It's no problem. And the reason I went to play next game, I want to show you something here. That's why I decided to right here. It says progress. It says no net gains. This is fine. This is what you're supposed to see. If you actually notice, this is for your attributes. This isn't for uh, the program and what you're actually doing here. All right, so it's that's fine. It's no big deal. We'll actually have to simulate through a couple more games. Actually, the series has ended. It wants me to go back to the clubhouse. We'll do this real quick. So as it loads back in here into the clubhouse, it's probably going to talk, talk to one of the coaches. No, it doesn't. All right, and it says no rewards right here. And this is fine too. Sorry, I had something in my eye right quick. Uh, this is okay that it says no rewards. You don't need it to say rewards here. You're not looking to get rewards or XP at the end of each game. That's not how this works. Your progress, if you look over here, this is going to show what you got in the game that you just played in the previous game. Now, if you happen to go through a couple more games, and let's say you pitched at the first one, but the final game of the series that it went through, you didn't pitch in. Well, it's going to show the results from that game. So don't, don't worry about this if it shows nothing. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. As we go back in here now to that ball player loadout, and we go look at the archetype. Now, we see we've gained two points, but all of these missions have tracked some progress. Look at this. They've all got some progress. This one right here, we had over 10 strikeouts. We got 11. The meters, the repeatable meters will only fill up once per game. So let's say you have nine strikeouts on this one and you go into a game and you get 11 strikeouts where well, you're not going to fill up the meter twice. Then you're going to fill it up that one time with the one strikeout. Then you're going to have to wait till the next game you pitch to fill this repeatable one up again. But uh, these, these right here will fill up really quick and you'll be able to get them. Uh, so we're going to go in here and go to another game that we pitch. And I'll show you guys exactly how much more and how much further it works. All right, so what they did is they actually gave me the, the point right here where I can choose to not be a two-way player anymore. So I'll show you guys this. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be a two-way player. So we're going to go down here and go, I don't like it. I prefer to focus on pitching only. And this will speed the process up much quicker here with what we're doing right now. So yes, we just want to, no, we don't want to be, a, we want to be a starting pitcher. We don't want to be a closer. So you're going to select starting pitcher because you'll get more innings. Even if you're doing one of the relief pitcher or closing pitcher uh, archetypes you want to select to be a starting pitcher because you'll get more innings and more strikeouts much faster in what you're doing all right so here we go we'll go ahead and go to this it's going to take me to the next one i'm going to show you guys a couple more of these games like i said the coach wants to talk to us you can skip through that it doesn't matter we'll skip through this part here we don't need to hear, the, hear them talking now we'll go to play game we'll go to starting pitcher it loads up pretty quick so we don't have to wait for it to load too terribly long here on the ps5 all right as soon as it starts we go to exit simulate and exit we're gonna pitch we, we make it go fast through this we pitched uh we pitched a uh, pretty good distance in that one i think yeah eight innings pitched and got nine strikeouts in that one so after you pitch it's probably gonna make you return to the clubhouse a lot because obviously you're not playing as many games you're gonna play like every fifth game um so that's okay though every time it does that don't worry it's no big deal now look progress we actually got to five percent we earned another three percent there so through two games simulated that we've pitched We've gotten all the way to 5% on this. Uh, so you can see how quickly it's going to move. Uh, we'll go in and do one more just to show you guys real quick. Go back into play. We'll skip through this part here. It's going to take us to a training session. You'll get some of these sometimes. 
Uh, let's see. I don't like to raise the uh, the velocity up on some of those pitches. Um, I just don't want to. Uh, we'll do the break, though. Uh, on the uh, off-speed pitches, if you raise the velocity up, uh, it actually raises the velocity unless it's a change-up. On a change-up, it will actually lower the velocity when you raise the velo number. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, just things to keep in mind if you're trying to make a pitcher there. So here we go. We're the starting pitcher again. We're going to go into it again. And you're going to get these great outings. I mean, you're, every time you pitch, you're going to get a great outing with a lot of strikeouts. Uh, a lot of times you'll pitch a complete game uh, as you get going further on. Here we go. We'll skip through it again real quick. We hit pause. We simulate. How many? We, we only pitched five innings in that one, so it wasn't as long. Right here is we're early on before we get uh, at a little bit more stamina. They're going to make us pitch like five innings and stuff at the beginning of the season, but you'll start getting to the point where it's eight, nine innings almost every single outing, and that's that's going to be awesome for you. It's going to work out great. So now as we exit back here, it's going to make us go to the clubhouse again. We're going to go. Remember, we were at 5%. Let's see if we gained any more percentages from that third game. We are, we're at 7% now. So see, three games and already at 7%. And as you go through these, look, I'm about to knock out a bunch of these big ones. It's going to give me a big chunk, a big portion of uh, points and strikeouts right there. So you guys follow this along. There are six archetypes. I, like I said, we'll go over all the archetypes for pitching tomorrow, uh, all the diamond archetypes. So you guys can have a good leg up on the competition for that. And I hope this uh, helps you guys out. Uh, if, it, uh, if you have any questions, Feel free to ask them as always. If the if it's not tracking for some reason for you, I've got a video on that. So make sure to check that out, kind of helping you out or something's not tracking. But if you follow along just the way I did, it should work fine for you. So, uh, but everybody do me a favor as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, 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 and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, peace.